What do you think you're most known for? Your acting, your music, or the controversy that surrounds you? My big mouth. <laughs> I got a big mouth. Can't help it. I talk from my heart. I'm real. But my controversy probably. And it's not my fault. I'm trying to find my way in the world. You know, I'm trying to be somebody. And so I, I go down paths that haven't been traveled before. And I usually mess up. But I learn. You know what I'm saying? I come back stronger. You know, I'm not talking ignorant. This world is such a... You want to be successful? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, 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 push. That's how it all is. Instead of us just being like, slavery's bad. Slavery's bad. Bad whitey, bad whitey. I mean, why? Right, let's stop that. And everybody's smart enough to know that. I mean, we've been slighted. And we want ours. And I don't mean by like, a hours, 40 acres and a mule, because we passed that. But we need help. Everybody need a little something, and they to be independent. No independent person just grew up and was born independent. You worked, and you learned teamwork, and you learned cooperation, and unity, and struggle, and then you became independent. He need to help black kids, Mexican kids, Korean kids, whatever. But it need to be real, and it need to be before we all die, and then you say, oh, I made a mistake. We should've gave them some money. We really should've helped these folks. It's gonna be too late. I mean, nobody should be hitting a lot of for 36 million, and we got people starving in the streets. We all know how hard it is, and it's not about if you good or you bad. So since it's not about if you good or you bad, we know that because he don't got, don't mean he was bad. Or don't mean he's a criminal, or don't mean he's crazy, or a drug addict, or none of that. It just means he don't got. Not saying that when I'm never gonna be rich in the You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it's a struggle, and I think everybody deserves it. I think there is a way. It just takes to be revolutionary, and it takes to, to do something out of the ordinary. It's like being the last person alive. You know what I'm saying? If I know. In this hotel room, they have food every day. And I'm knocked on the door every day to eat. And they tell and they open the door, let me see the party. Let me see like they throwing salami all over the you know I mean just like throwing food around. Or they're telling me there's no food in here. You know what I'm saying? Every day I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. You know what I'm saying? We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is gonna change the we hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, you know, give me a little food, we're breaking out the door. And after a year, you just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't know, it depends on niggas' balls. You know, if niggas got big nuts like me, it's gonna get way harder. But shit, if niggas got little nuts, it's gonna start getting back to a different type of rap. You know what I'm saying? Party and fucking and all that type of shit, because that's what we talk about when they don't let us talk about what we really want to talk about. So it depends. You can listen to the radio and listen to what niggas be talking about. And if they start talking that crazy shit, then it ain't cool. If niggas still talking that thug shit, you know, that hardcore shit, it's all good. But if they talk about, like, hitting, you know, all that crazy shit, you know, it, it ain't gonna be like that. Not nothing's wrong with that, but there's something wrong with it if you think it's, that's hardcore. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm gonna. They use the ghetto for their pain, for their sorrow, for their culture, for their music, for their happiness, for their movies, to talk about boys in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be another young. I don't want to be 50 years old at a BET. We shall overcome um, achievement awards. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Not me. You know what I'm saying? When they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. You know? Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world. But I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it. But I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody going to clean it up.